Rook takes a7, queen takes f4, queen g3, queen f1. Queen f1, then, yeah, let's pause there and look for moves. Oh, wait, of course there's queen c7. <laughs> you say, of course, like, so <laughs> obvious. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not easy. When you're visualizing, you really have to focus to get the right the right position. And once you see the position, then it becomes obvious. Yeah, but you have to really, like zone in on it so your queen covers this dag and also there are no checks and then of course seventh rank is just deadly yeah so it's it's kind of interesting it's like at first it it feels super messy and we don't want to calculate um but also we have to recognize that at the start of the puzzle we're upper rook so that's nice so when you're upper rook mm -hmm. if you just trade queens you know you get some end game of course easy win so even if you don't win material in the puzzle uh but you end up in an end game where like you have an extra rook, then that's probably going to be good. Yeah. Probably the end of the puzzle. Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I got special guest with me today, Mr. Chess Latte. How you doing? Good. Chess Latte is one of our most active members i would say easily easily one of our most active <laughs> and um you have watched the channel so much that you have earned enough gold to buy yourself a one-on-one -on -one lesson yeah um and so and so here we are so first of all congratulations on working hard and achieving this <laughs> thank you um and uh, so people know you're uh, you're from New York. Would you mind sharing with us how how old are you again? Nine years old. Nine years old. Nice. And when are you turning ten? Um, next year in for February. Oh, February. So you just recently turned nine. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Nice. <laughs> um, great. So, uh, yeah. What we'll be doing today is we'll be doing uh, a puzzle survival. Uh, run. Uh, it will be all on you. I'm just here to make uh, the moves for you and, and maybe uh, give you some tips along the way. Uh, we'll work on your tactics a bit, maybe your calculation. Uh, what did you say was your high score for survival? 42. 42. Okay, well, we'll see if we can approach that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure. We'll, we'll do our best. Um, in the meantime, chat, you can also participate. So Chess Latte, is, uh, you're just following the stream like everyone else, so you're not going to be seeing the, uh, the position before anyone. You, you know, you have to kind of deal with the lag a little bit. But, um, you know, chat, you guys are free to try to solve the problem as well. Um, okay, so now can I just say it? But I'll leave it to you. Yeah, so as soon as you say a move, we can get going. Okay, Rook takes E2. All right, good. And I'm assuming, <laughs> I'm just going to assume you want yeah. to take the rook. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, just take the rook. Mm -hmm. Knight F2, mate. Good. Rook takes E1, rook takes E1, mate. Nice. I like how you called the second move out, too. That was awesome. Um, rook, A4, rook A4 and rook takes F4, mate. Nice. Queen takes a seven, mate. Good, good. Knight d three check and knight takes f four. Nice, nice. Pawn takes f3, if king takes f3, bishop c6, Chuck. Yeah, good. And taking, nice. Bishop takes b7. Queen takes f2, mate. Queen e1, g3, Chuck, and f takes g3. Good, good. Queen takes F2, mate. 
Nice. Bishop takes e3, Chuck, and queen takes e2. Oh, yeah, quick question, because I don't know this either. How did you come up with the name Chess Latte? Oh, um, so my mom came up with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> gotcha. But now you like it. It's your name now. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right, next one. Bishop takes f5, and pawn takes f3. Right. Oh, knight takes d5, and knight takes e7. Yeah, actually, very thematic trick whenever you have, like, bishops lined up against each other. Um, actually, I've learned in Puzzle Rush that whenever something comes to d5, you just take it. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's always hanging. Like, you know, queen a5 check always wins the bishop. Okay, next one. Um, queen takes f6, and rook takes f6. Yeah, good. Okay. Finish that off. Um, rook f1, yeah. Rook f1, rook f1. Hey, f3, check in, queen takes h2. Good, good. Rook h5. Yeah, it's like kind of quiet move. Honestly, it seems like a surprising yeah. problem <laughs> for this range. It's but... like a weird puzzle. Yeah, so what is, uh, what will be your next move? Rook takes g7. Rook g7, king h8, and then... Rook takes f6 if they didn't play bishop d8. He takes f6. That's kind of our threat, right? So let's say they do go bishop d8. What would you think there? I guess I would go bishop d2. I mean, no, rook f5. Yeah, rook f5. Rook, sorry, rook f where? Rook f5. Rook f5. Hmm. I'm not so sure about this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would say let's calculate the um, the direct line. So knight h5, bishop d8. Let's say you take here on uh, f6. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, that. Oh wait, that's me. I didn't notice that. Well, how's it, mate? Let's let's calculate until the end. So king g6, there's h5 check. Mm -hmm. And then... Mm -hmm. And then after king g5, mm -hmm. there's... Eh, I guess I can just play rook, g rook f5 and just one. I think. Um, rook f5? You're almost there. King goes to h4. Then I take the queen. Okay, so you take, I think... the... <laughs> take the queen. That's true, you won the queen there. That's good. Um, so the... Oh, there's also that four mate. There's a mate there. Yeah, the king on h4, I just move the, move the pawn. Or maybe a little bit cleaner when king is on g5. You can go bishop d2. And that will also yeah. force king to h4. And then we have rook h3 mate. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I doubt we're going to get that far. I think knight h5. Yeah, g Yeah. <laughs> but that's still, that's good calculation. That's good visualization. Queen takes f5 and queen h7, mate. Okay. So slightly tougher problem than the last one. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good. Next. Um... Knight g4 check. Mm -hmm. Knight g4 check. Bishop takes g4. Rook h2 check. King h1. Rook takes d2. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, so we have check. Rook h2. Yeah, let's think about it because it's kind of yeah. messy. I'm just thinking about just sacking the queen. So after knight g4 check, bishop takes g4. Oh wait, no, that doesn't work. Okay, ready for that your first uh, your first technique. 
Yeah, I mean, like, I think Night G4 shot can work H2. Mm -hmm. But then there's King G1. Mm -hmm. So after Knight G4 check, Bishop takes G4, Rook H2 check, King G1, I'm not so sure. Not sure what's happening Actually, there because no. um, both queens are hanging, is that why? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I got you. Um, well, let me, let me share a technique with you that could help. Simply put, it's just called slowing down <laughs> <laughs> uh, and calculating slowly. So yeah. uh, I'll put the line on the board and basically your job is just to follow the line and then um, and then see where it leads. So knight g4, bishop takes, rook h2, king g1. So this is yeah. where we stop because it feels messy. It's like the queen is hanging on d2, queen is hanging on c5. What's going on there? Rook is hanging. Who knows what's happening? But let's try to just go... Mm. two moves deeper so what would be the first move to look at there for black after king G1? oh now i see yeah rook takes d2 bishop takes c5 there's rook takes d5 and after bishop moves i can take on g4 uh well let's go not even that far so rook d2 right we just take the queen white takes our queen oh, and let's just try to visualize that position and so what's hanging there for white? So the knight and the bishop. So knight on d5 is hanging and bishop on g4 is hanging. You can probably take either of these pieces. Like what's the what's the material there after you take one of them? So probably I'm going to get an extra piece after rook takes d5. Hmm. And also I'm just also up a rook. You're up a rook, right? After yeah. you win the piece. And then you might even win a second piece. It's maybe uh, unclear, but... So you're at least up a rook. Yeah. Okay. So that seems pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's kind of interesting. It's like at first it, it feels super messy and we don't want to calculate. Um, but also we have to recognize that at the start of the puzzle we're up a rook. So that's nice. So when you're up a rook, mm -hmm. if you just trade queens, you know, you get some endgame, of course, easy win. So even if you don't win material in the puzzle, uh, but you end up in an end game where like you have an extra rook, then that's probably going to be good. Yeah, probably the end of the puzzle. Exactly. Oh wait, no, there's. Oh wait, no, I thought there's me, but the knight on c6 is covering me. Hmm. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, so let's do it. Check, and we'll take. Okay, bishop takes f5, check. We didn't anticipate this one. But that's okay, that happens. I think here king d8. King d8 looks like the only move it will even let me play. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> gotta do it, no choice. Uh, and now? And now rook takes d5. Rook d5. Okay, very good. Um, okay, so let's see. So queen f6, check. Mm -hmm. King h7, queen takes f7, check. King h6, queen takes e6, check. Um, king h7. Queen f5, check. King... King um, H8, then I have queen takes H5, mate. Mm. And if king H6, king H6, then I have queen F6 check. And after king F5, I have queen F7. Oh, I have a perpetual there, I guess. Okay, okay, so you're, you're very, very close, but see yeah. what's happening? This happens to a lot of kids, it's okay. You're so fast, you're like skipping <laughs> over. <laughs> so I guarantee you, if we slow down, you'll you'll see it. So let's take it one by uh, move by move. So queen f6, uh, everything you calculate is right. King h7, queen takes uh, f7 check. King has to go to h6. Then you wanted queen takes e6 check. And black plays king h7. Oh, of course. 
Of course, just take the brook. Right. So your your brain is going like million miles a second, you know, just like do, 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 like stockfish. But yeah, if you just <laughs> if you just slow down and just look at the position, you'll be like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> queen takes rook check. Yeah. So um, that's that's the first technique is just uh, being patient, you know. Yeah. But you're doing very good. Uh, okay, next one. Knight g3. Mm -hmm. Knight g3, b2, knight takes a2. Pawn takes c1 equals queen. And then I go knight takes c1. And I think I'm up. I think I'm up a lot of pieces. Yeah. How many, just to be precise? Um, I think two pieces. Two pieces. Yeah. Actually, yeah, two pieces. Right, and definitely enough. Uh, yeah, very good. Knight c3, queen has no moves, has to go b2. Only try and we simply take queen c2. We'll take this one. And now. Yeah. Just take. And then go knight a2. Okay, next one. Um, queen h5 check. King e7. Queen takes g5 check. King d6. Knight b5 check. King c6. I would have already stopped calculating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I would have, like, queen takes g5, and I'm like, okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I, don't I think... know that there has to be a mate there. I think the puzzle will just stop. Well, it's not that there has to be a mate, it's just... Yeah, you have yeah, like, I mean, like I 10 good moves times. after that. Exactly. Yeah. C6. Mm -hmm. And if pawn takes C6, I have bishop C5, check king G8, rook E8, check bishop F8. And mm -hmm. then I go bishop takes F8, and it's over. Bishop F8. So there won't be checkmate there. You know, black can go like F6 yeah. at the end, but. um. You won the piece. You can go rook f8, bishop f8, both both are winning at the end. So Yeah. Very nice find. Nice kind of clearance sacrifice and also kind of like double attack at the same time. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Hmm. Okay. G5, pawn takes G5, pawn takes G5, king e4, f6, pawn takes f6, pawn takes f6, and black resigns. Yeah, I bet you actually. Yeah, I... After G5. Yeah. Because. Because sure I can go h5 you, also. You can go h5, right? G4, push, G3, we take, and then we stop their pawn. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh no, hold on. Oh what? wait, no, there's one takes F6. Wow. There's what? So, so after a pawn takes, so let's say H5, F6. Yeah. H, so H5, G4, F6. Oh, black's in time. Yeah, black they just come out. Yeah, that's my bad. Okay, very good. So I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but now F6, there's no way we see another move, right? Yeah, F6. This is going to be the end, because takes, we can push, or we can take. All right. Yeah. Goodbye, puzzle. All right, next one. Okay, so we're on 23, right? Yeah, 23. Nice. Knight takes G5. And if bishop takes G5, I have queen takes H5. Mm -hmm. I think. So wait. knight g5, can black do anything else? Oh, wait, there's knight takes g3, but then I can go knight takes f7. 
Mm -hmm. And anything else on Knight takes G5? Knight takes G5? Oh, wait, there's pawn takes. Pawn takes. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> okay, so after Knight takes E5, Knight takes... So Knight takes E5 just wins because I think I just won a pawn. So Knight E5. So Knight E5, Knight E3. Mm -hmm. Knight takes F7. Mm -hmm. Or Bishop takes F7. Mm -hmm. Knight takes f7, the queen moves to d7, and I win the rook. Sure. And so knight e5, if black takes with the knight on e5? Then I take the knight on h5, mm -hmm. I think. And just pawn up. Yeah, pawn up. Yeah. You can also throw in maybe bishop takes e5 if you want to. Yeah, bishop to. takes e5 keep this guy like uh on c4 uh hitting f7 light squared bishop yeah but uh yeah looks like looks like knight takes c5 is right we're at the stage now where i'm not 100 percent sure myself <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it looks good <laughs> and we're gonna okay okay very good next one um queen h four chuck g3 knight takes g3 i think Okay, black to move. Okay. Uh, okay, just rook takes e6, king takes e6, king takes h3, king d5, king g4, king e, king d4, king g5, king king d3, king d king d3. I mean king g3. I mean king b. Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> See what? I think I know yeah. what you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> whoa whoa <laughs> that was wrong no i said rook takes e oh he said rook takes rook oh i saw he said rook takes pawn oh my <laughs> <laughs> oh come on because white doesn't have to trade rooks <laughs> that's on me <laughs> Yeah, that's on me. Uh, <laughs> that was so funny, though. Yeah, you you can have my I am title. That's yours now. <laughs> Yay, I'm an I am. <laughs> okay, now let's see. That was a pretty basic end game, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that was that was really embarrassing for me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see chat reaction. Wait, let's see chat. <laughs> Okay, wait. Wait, no one's doing anything. Wait, what's happening? Wait, why is... <laughs> wait, why is it anybody laughing? No, they were... Oh, they, were laughing. they were laughing. They were laughing. Okay. Okay, so after pawn takes g6... Um, wait, this is... Uh, white King smoke. takes... Hmm? Rook takes h8, king takes h8. Um, hmm. Rook h3 check, maybe? King, Wait, maybe. what's going on? White to move here? No, after a pawn takes h. Oh, g3. sorry, I went back and move. Oh, hg is on the board. My bad. Yeah. Okay. Um, rook takes h8. Mm -hmm. Um, king takes a j. Rook h3 check. King g8. Queen h6. And I think I won. Well, let's let's be precise there. And then let's see. Um. Queen f4, no, there's no. <sighs> queen f4 check, and I resign, right? Yeah, black gets the queens up, right? Oh, so rook takes h8, king takes h8, queen h6. Oh, then queen h7, I have queen takes f8. And I'm going to be up in exchange in the end game. 
So queen h6, if king goes back to g8. Then I have queen, rook takes g6, winning the whole queen. Okay, good. I am pretty sure that one's right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lost all fate. There we go. <laughs> and now just take. And take. Okay. <laughs> if I remember correctly, I think this was also on stream when you were doing it with Maya. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she's been working hard on her puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> Never knew I was an I am. Oh, oh, you saw that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fide must have seen the clip and now it's, uh, yep. <laughs> They move quickly. <laughs> okay, so I think it's king g6, queen e6, Chuck. Mm -hmm. King g5, queen f5, Chuck, king h6. Again, checks, right? On uh, e6. I know it's king e6, but. Yeah. So let's see, do we have any other options for black after uh, queen e6? After queen e6, I guess I have knight f6. Oh wait, I missed those up two rooks. Up two rooks, yeah, content's <laughs> very important. So if queens come off, it's, uh, yeah, just game over. Yep. Nice. Okay, very good. Next one. In game. Hmm. Um, now if I vote, then I lose my I am title, I forgot. <laughs> if what? <laughs> if I blow this, I, I lose my I am title, if I recall correctly, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you get one wrong, <laughs> your title's on the line. <laughs> okay. Wait. Oh my god. Okay, so this is G4. G4. And I'm not sure if Black has a move to prevent F3. Yeah. G4 just ends the puzzle, I think. Yeah, very nice. So G4 and then you pre-move F3. <laughs> yeah, right? Instructive pre-move right there. Very instructive. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse needs that. Jesse needs that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, this one, I remember seeing this one. I feel like we got this on stream the other day or something. Okay. Um, Queen takes d5, mate. Nice. Yeah, I, remember I wonder why that was so high rated. I think a lot of people give Queen h3 check. Uh, or maybe even queen oh. g4, who knows. But yeah, this is <laughs> not, not the most obvious mate, apparently. Oh, is this one of Bobby Fischer's games? You know, I don't, I don't recognize it. Like, it was a game where Bobby Fischer sacked his rook against... I forgot his name. Hmm. Oh, who was it? Okay, but anyway, Bishop A3 check and Queen E1. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. I actually don't. Yeah, I don't remember that. Well, not and then there and then Queen E1. All right, got to thirty. Nice. Technically, it should be thirty-one. Thirty-one. <laughs> thirty-one guys. Thirty-one. Remember it's that. Thirty-one. <laughs> that was my bad. <laughs> Costia quote unquote mouse left or did an accidental pre-move. Um, no, I just got it wrong actually. 
I, uh... Oh, wait, really? Yeah, yeah, so, like, yeah, when I saw the puzzle, I thought, like, oh, Rick takes pawn, Rick takes pawn. <laughs> like, winning endgame, right? And then when you said Rick oh. takes e6, I heard Rick takes a6, because that's what I was already thinking. Oh. And so I thought, okay, so that looks good. And, yeah, I just completely <laughs> forgot why you can keep the rooks and make a pretty easy draw. Okay, so, so let's uh, see. Um, queen h6 six and pawn to h4. Queen uh, h6 and then taking the knight. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Very nice. Next one. F5? You sound very unsure, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you my second tip that's very helpful. So first tip was just, you know, take it slow. Uh, second tip, if it's confusing or it's unclear, you're probably missing something. Yeah. Oh, wait, bishop e4 chuck. Good, good. If king takes e4, then I have knight f2 chuck. Yeah, nice. Nice decoy trick. And take the queen. Can't believe it took me that long to find that. Okay, I another end game. I'm going to be hands off on this one. It's going to be all <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, um, king f5, king d3. Oh, wait, no, I, I'm rushing out. Let me just sit on my hands, wait. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> G4. Pawn takes G4. King F6. King D5. Okay, so it's G4. So what's the line there? So if G4, if pawn takes, I have King F6. Mm-hmm. And I go king g5, and, and I eventually take the pawn. Yeah, but oh, where's white going to play? King g4, oh wait. Okay, so it's not g4. Yeah, king gets, gets back in time. Okay, so it's king f5, king d5, king g6, king e6, king e5, king f5, king e5, king f5, king h4, king g6, king takes f3, king takes g5. Wait, okay. let's slow down again. Sorry, what was the line you on king f5? Yeah, king f5, and I think white just resigns. And then. Well, where would white white try? Probably king d5. Okay, and then? And then g4. Oh, and g4. So that's winning. Yeah. Okay, so how about king d3? King g6? Mm-hmm. And then let's say king king e2. Then go king g6. King e2, then I go king h5. King f two king mm -hmm. h five and if king f two i can go king h four mm -hmm. and i think that's winning because after king g two g four pawn takes g four king takes g four oh is this still me no because it's white's turn so if king f two then i can go f three so I will go here, and then, so actually we could just stop and evaluate that position. Yeah. Um, with uh, black king on g4, pawn on f4, and white king on f2. Yeah. Uh, so you, do you know what the evaluation there would be? Um, it depends on whose move it is, but if it's, White's move, it's equal, and if it's black move, 
if it's black smooth, then it's winning for black. Hmm. I'll tell you, it's actually it's actually a draw no matter what. But we can calculate it out. Let's say oh, black wait. pushes f three. Is yeah, white's king is in good position, so you go king f one. Yeah. And then you're ready to to meet the opposition, right? Yeah, I just forgot. No, that's okay. That's okay. I mean, the, that's what makes these hard is that you have to visualize these positions, and then you have to remember the evaluation or if you don't yeah. remember then you have to kind of calculate it out but it's easier if you actually just remember i'll give you some tricks that you can use um to kind of re like remember some of these things better but you're very close to this one so let's try king f5 king d3 oh oh now i see oh now i see mm -hmm. king g6 king e2 king h5 king f2 king h4 king king g3 Wait, king h4, white goes king g2. Yeah, four, yeah, king g2. Uh, okay, let's go Let's go back to tip one. Yeah. Remember, tip what was one, tip slowing one? Down. Slowing down and not blitzing. Okay, okay, good, good. So king f5, most natural move, king d3. Now, what's the most natural move on move two? Oh, wait. No, this way. G4. G4 is the move to calculate, yeah. Um, so pawn takes, mm -hmm. king takes, king e2, I have king g3, I think. You have king g3. Yeah. So your king is advancing in front of your pawn. Yep. So that's that's big, which is a basic concept, I think. Yeah, so that's that's an easy way to often evaluate these positions. Like once your king gets in front of the pawn, you're winning unless the opponent like immediately gets the opposition. Yeah. Um, which isn't happening here because White's king is on e2. But even actually, if White was able to play king g1, that would still be winning for Black. Well, we'll talk about why yeah. actually. Kind of interesting. Because there's like a perfect position. Huh, I haven't heard of the perfect and then, position. then like king f1 and then king f3 and then it's a forced win. Well, that's that's exactly right. Yeah, we'll see. Or there's um, f3, f2. We'll see how far the puzzle allows us. But um, yeah, the, the basic point is that black's king is advancing and just getting to um, g2 and going around the pawn. We're not getting to g2, but we get this one. And so this last position, let me just... Put that up on the board for everyone. Oh, it's... Oh, man, they don't let me... Oh. Anyway, that final position is winning regardless of who's to move. Yeah. So that's why, I guess... I haven't heard perfect position. That's kind of cool. But basically, it doesn't matter whether it's uh, black to move or white to move because if, if it's black to move, white has the opposition. You're still winning by tempos. Like, the pawn yeah. moves up, and then you get F2. Um, okay, next one here. Okay. Oh, and on that last one, if white didn't take the g-pawn but played king e2, then black um, pushes g3 and gets this protected pass pawn. And so that's going to be winning in a slower route, but basically the king will just walk around and push white's king back. Yep. And also here it's king g6 and <laughs> rook g5 check king h6. Um, if you take the pawn, then promotion just wins. Alright, so Rook doesn't get back in time. Yeah, good. Oh. Oh, wait, what happened? <laughs> Trick. Oh! <laughs> oh, man, I hate these puzzles. Okay, King H7. Yeah. Sigh of relief, King H7. Yeah. And now we just... Pro and just promotion. Yeah. Okay, very good. Next one. Okay, it's queen f2. Um, okay, so I think queen f2 just wins. Queen f2, queen f1. Um, then I have rook g1, queen takes... They have rook g1, queen takes g1, queen takes, rook takes g1, rook takes g1, and queen takes 
E3. I think. So, wait, one more time. Queen F2? So, Queen F1? Mm hmm. Oops. And then I go Rook G1. And then, way is forced to take, and then I take again, and then I take the rock. Gotcha. So queen f2, can white do anything else? Um, I'm not so sure because you have to stop rook g1 mate. Well, he does have a couple of checks, Some but checks, there isn't yeah. a potential. Well, let's let's just let's take a look at it because it's easy to get scared of the checks, but I'm not sure they're actually doing much. Yeah. So rook e8 will go king h7, king h7, then queen d3 check, right? Yeah. And then, huh? And then go. Oh. Um, rook seven, g six. Ugh. Yeah, you don't like it, right? Yeah. Like, so that's yeah, a good instinct. Yeah. So try to find the move you like there. You do have a good move for black. Oh wait. Oh, am I just missing rook f pawn f five? I think just f five. Yeah, shuts it down. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. All right, good. I think let's go with queen f2. You feel good about this one? Yeah, I think. If I get wrong, I'm not so sure. <laughs> no, I think you got it. Nice. Okay, queen f1. And you wanted this one. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Hey. I just looked at myself. Mm hmm Hey, why is this? <laughs> why is this? <laughs> Sorry, people were getting a little confused, so I just wanted to clarify. So that should make sense oh. to everyone now. <laughs> no, it's I actually am. a funny story. When I like first joined like open tournaments, I saw these people with these tags like like I am, I am, I am, and I thought I didn't I didn't know there was titles, so I just thought they're like introducing themselves. <laughs> but then I saw GM, and that was very confusing. I was like, well, what's that? No um, I think it's a4, pawn takes c4, and mm -hmm. I come out, and I think. C4. Well, let's C4. check. White also pushes. Um, I push... They push, we now push, and push, 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 push. Oh, I have queen, oh, I have queen d1, me. Oh my gosh. Nice. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So we, we actually promote at the same time, but we have the first move, which can be very important in these pawn end games. Because it gives allows you to give the first check and kind of dictate what's happening. And in this case, yeah, we just happen to have a checkmate. You know, funny how that turned out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, very very good find. Okay, so white comes back king g4, but not in the square. So I'm gonna assume you just want to push. Yeah, push, 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 and push. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, he's barely in time. Um, um. <laughs> Um, 
So, rookie E check, king H7. Queen F5 check, G6, queen F6. And white's winning. Mm, okay. That looks, that seems good. So check, G6, queen F6. Black has a check, right? I see. So That's after queen C1, king H2. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then I just escape. No more checks. Right, everything covered. So, looks like black will resign. Good. All right. And king h2. And queen takes f4. Yeah, very nice. All right, we're almost at 40. Oh. Oh, this is where I start to trip up. Actually, yeah, we're at 40, 38, so we're really close. Oh, that's true. Technically, you're at 38. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> um, oh, wait. Mm hmm Rook F8 check, bishop takes F8, queen F7 check, king D8, queen takes F8 check, king D7, I take the rook. So king and, went to D7, right? Yeah, king went, so after, yeah, and then he went Wait, Let's to pause there. You can probably take the rook on A8, but let's pause there, because I think you have, like, much stronger move. Oh, of course. I have rook f7 check, king e6, queen h6. Queen okay. okay, you win the queen. I was thinking rook f6 back. Yeah. Uh, queen h6 probably good. Good too. But yeah, nice job. It's like not the hardest puzzle, but it, it's easy to miss if you don't see queen f7 check. Very important move, of course. Um, to force the king over. and Yeah, just a c case of looking at the most... Uh, forcing moves at all times. Okay, very nice. And we win the rock. Oh, working one check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I guess working one and rook takes the one. That certainly seems possible. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I win a piece. On King H2, is there anything else uh, you can do as black? Um, hmm. I was thinking about Bishop D6 check, but hmm? not sure I like it. Because King H3, right? And then... Yeah. But then I take, or actually no, I have h5. h5. And I checkmate. Very good. Yeah, so it's easy to discard this line because as soon as we see king h3, our brain sees the light squares and we're like, oh, there's no mate. You know, rook h1, mm -hmm. king g4, you know, we're losing coordination. It's easy to kind of instinctually give up on it. Uh, but again, when you slow down and you notice h5, and you take a look at that position, and you're like, wow, chess is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, can't can't do nothing. Nice. Oh, knight of six, we missed this one. Oh. Um. Uh, wait, um, I think I just take. 
Oh, we can just take. Okay. Wow. Lucky. <laughs> oh, Bishop F4, we missed this one too. <laughs> oh, yay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wait. Isn't there two moves here? Was there two moves there? Oh, you can go. Was, wasn't there also Rock? No, King G3. Um... King G3. Oh. You're probably still winning, but yeah. Yeah. All right, you're at 40. Genuinely, because you did get that one right. And yeah. <laughs> so we're almost, uh, we're almost at your record. Ugh. Okay. Okay, I can't believe I'm missing all these moves. Hmm? So I think it's rook d2. The mm -hmm. queen moves to e1. Let's be careful. Mm. Oh wait, there's rook c2. Maybe even better. But rook c2 is good enough, but um... Yeah. We want to be very careful what, what black can do with the, the queen and rook. We don't want to give them any counterplay. Yeah. But I'm sure it has to be all tracks, but... Okay, I think it's bishop g5 truck, king e6, rook e7 truck. Rook F7 truck. King E5. F4 truck. King E4. King B4, then I have Rook B7, so it's King E4. Right. Then Rook E7 truck. You have rook d7. Um, but let's uh, let's slow down a bit. So let's think about bishop g5, rook f7. From the defender's point of view, when they're playing against the dark sword bishop, they're not going to want to go here, you know, running into yeah. f4. They're going to want to go king e6. Oh. So let's let's start with this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is like a study, though. This one's pretty tough. Oh, there's rook e7, king e5. F4. Ugh. There's no mate. So you're looking for the mate, right? King e6, rook e7, king f5. I know there has to be something there. Yeah. We have a draw if we want, so that's nice. Maybe it's a draw puzzle. It could be a draw puzzle. I've definitely considered that. Um, but maybe we have a way to set up a mate after king f5. Because you you want to go like f4 and then rook e5 check, which is one idea. Yeah. But then king can kind of escape. <sighs> maybe king g3, but that's so ugly. Yeah. Yeah, so let's try to focus in on that position, see if we can come up with a move for white, because it feels very close. King on king on f5, rook on e7. And also king on g3. Oh, wait, is it? So after king g3? Oh, there's me? Oh, wait, there's a perpetual. Oh. Yeah. Not easy, but I think you can do it. Yeah. I know there has to be a me, but... Mm 
Hmm. You think this is a draw puzzle? I mean, like... You're, uh, you're close. You know, you're very, very close there. Um, the idea is that we want to set up a mating net against the, the king. Um, yeah. Now, in a game, the nice thing is that you can play it and then decide later. Yeah. Um, the puzzle might end, but I'm not sure if it will. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but let's put it on the board. Let's go here. This is G5 looks forced. And let's give this check. And so, in a game, now this is something you got to get ready for. When you start playing tournaments again, you know, you're going to be beating some grandmaster and you're going to have this position where you're about to checkmate them and they're going to play king e6 and offer you a draw. Because they're going to be like, oh, you know, rook e7, rook f7. And then you, I hope you have the guts to just. No, I won't. Them. I won't accept your draw when I, when I know like I'm winning. Good. Like that's just rid ridiculous. Good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna go even if there isn't no, there's no mating yet, then. Well, you can always repeat later. Yeah, you don't have to accept the draw. Yeah, right and away. I also <laughs> have two pawns on the queen side. Yeah. So I'm up material. But... Okay, so black play king d6. Ugh. Oh, wait. Oh, it's rook d2 check. Yeah, so here we just have rook d2 and just... Probably win. not the most. Yeah, but let's try to figure out what was the win after king f5. Yeah. That there must have been like some sort of mate in one. There's a, there's a mating net, but it's not a mate in... Yeah, definitely not a mate in one. I think you would have seen that. <laughs> yeah. But try to see if you can find the idea. How are we going to checkmate the king? Okay, um... Hmm. I guess... Rookie 4, maybe? Let me give you another tip. Uh, what if I just gave you two moves in a row? How would you checkmate? Okay, I won't say this. I'm not so sure. That's all right. That's fine. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. It's a tough one. It's like the king has to get made it. So key move is rook e2, I believe. Oh my god. And so you're setting up this mate on e5 with either rook uh, as well as rook f7. Yeah. So that one is just an absolute... That's why in the puzzle black goes king d6. It's better to lose your queen than to get made it. <laughs> But, um, yeah, but, that's, um, a, yeah. that's a nice one. All right, let's go Rick D2. Let's take. Well, you still solved the puzzle. So you're now at 41 officially. One away from uh, your record and two away from breaking it. Uh, so let's try to get you there. Hmm. Well, we do have more than the scrubs. No, the dojo scrubs. I think What's they that? do. I wonder if I have more than the dojo scrubs. They got they got to forty, I think. So yeah, one I remember more and you, that. You you pass them. Ugh. Yeah, that was a huge torture moment when they got forty. <laughs> no, these are getting tough. That last one was twenty one fifty one. Ugh. And what am what's my normal puzzle rating? I think it's over twenty five hundred. Okay, that has to be it. What do you think? So, so I'm thinking queen g three, queen g c two, queen h four. And then h5 looks forced. Mm -hmm. And then I go queen f6. Sure. That looks. And then I think I checkmate. 
That looks done. But yeah, but maybe Queen G3. Well, I can go Rook E7. Yeah, Queen G3, Rook E7. Okay. Uh, yeah, not sure what we do there. I can either trade and offer my opponent a draw. Yeah, it's clearly not winning. Hmm. Okay. Not so clear. What do you think about queen takes queen? Yeah, I was considering that. Mm -hmm. And then just taking on a7. And then I don't know who promotes. But, yeah. So, how does black take back? I think with the pawn. Mm -hmm. And then I take on a7. Mm -hmm. They go e3. e3. Um, rook c7, e2. Ugh. Oh, so I go rook b7, and after a promo, I go rook b8. Ugh. Yeah, the c pawn's pretty strong. Oh, wait, is it? Queen takes e4, pawn takes e4, king g1, e3, king f1? So you can try this one for sure. And then if black yeah. pushes the e pawn, you do get in front of it, and that's nice. Uh, I'm not totally clear if that's going to be winning, because at a certain point, black can even go yeah. like passive, or even rook b8 and go active. Um, but the other issue would be, let's say, take, take, king, g1, maybe black goes d3, goes with that pawn. And then your king is kind of too far. Yeah, but my rook's close. You know, rook can get behind, but black's rook will also come in. I don't know, honestly, I'm actually just not sure. But it doesn't look super clear to me. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, any other tries for white we have here? Hmm. I was thinking about rook takes a7. Yeah, we can also just take that one. And then they take on f4 and then I go queen g3. Mm-hmm. And then I guess they go queen f1. Sure. Let's try to calculate one more move here. What would be the best move for white? Queen g5. Rook e1, queen f6. Queen f1 check, king g3. Mm, too deep, too deep. Yeah. Once you start getting checked, you're like, that's too deep. <laughs> <laughs> so, queen g3, queen f1. And we want to make mating threats. So, after queen g5... There, so there's obviously going to be a thousand checks. Yeah. So and we then... definitely want to avoid the checks. Yeah. And then I go queen h6. Rook mm. takes a7, queen takes f4, queen g3, queen f1. Queen f1, then, yeah, let's pause there and look for moves. Oh, wait, of course there's queen c7. <laughs> you say, of course, like, so <laughs> obvious. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not easy. When you're visualizing, you really have to focus to get the right, the right position. And once you see the position, then it becomes obvious. Yeah, but you have to really, like, 
zone in on it. So your queen covers this diagonal, also there are no checks, and then of course, seventh rank is just deadly. Yeah. Um, but let's explore this end game for a sec. Let's say rook takes a seven, takes on f4, queen g3, takes, king takes. Um, your rook is on a7. A7. But I think my rook's more active. Very active. And next you're just ready to go rook b7, a7, mm. and then and push rook b8. And black's king is cut off on the back rank, so it's actually very... Yeah. Devastating. Very hard to stop that pawn. Yeah. So I think should be winning for white. Yeah. Not totally sure, but... Yeah. Um... Because the difference, of course, is we're not just not giving black the, the same counterplay with the pass pawn. So if it's just us in this A pawn, that's very tough for black because the king is cut and A7 is happening. Okay, let's take it. Hopefully we're not wrong. Awesome. Okay. So check. We're going to go queen g3. We're taking this one. And that was a GG. Oh, yes. Right. Okay, you got 42. You get one this one, you break your record. What's your record, by the way? Uh, in survival, I'm not sure. I actually don't do this too much. I'll have to check. Let me see. Yeah. Hmm. 60. Wow. But I probably had to go, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> there was, there's like one week. I think you have a week, yeah, but I think that was probably, yeah. I probably did one on stream and then we just, you know, had to end the stream or do something else or something. So rook takes f5, bishop mm -hmm. takes f5, queen takes f5, king takes b4, queen c5, check, king a4. Hmm. I'm down two rooks, I guess. I agree to a draw. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Takes. King can also go to b3. Yeah. I'm not so sure. Yeah, so I, this feels like the start. Rook takes f5, right? Yeah. If we don't play this, like, what are we doing? Just down a Maybe rook. Maybe bishop takes h8 and somehow we check me. But that's pretty unlikely. Well, yeah, I mean, a queen is under attack here, so we just... Yeah, don't yeah. have a lot of options. Okay, let's take on f5. Yeah. Let's go queen takes, because we're pretty sure we got to do that. And now let's think from here. I was thinking bishop c3 check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was very natural. The king b3. I can either take... Actually, no, then I can take the rook. And then they take back, I go queen e5, the rook moves to g8, go queen e3 chuck. Oh, but I don't have enough chucks. Yeah, you're, um, I think we're pretty close here. Let's say we do this one. Um. Mm. There's here, and then we might be able to take and... Yeah. Give some checks, but it's not tough. This is also possible. Oh, actually. But king b3, actually, there are no more checks because queen f3, I can take. Ugh. And then we just resign, I'm guessing. Yeah, then mm. not, so, not so clear, yeah. 
So queen c5, king b3, bishop takes h8, rook takes h8, queen e4. Queen, which one? Queen d4. Actually, no, queen a3 check. Queen a3 check, yeah, we have this check. No, but then the king runs away. King c2. King c2, queen c3, king b1, queen e1 check, king. Wait, let's slow down. So queen a3, king c2, and where are black's pieces? So a rook on a3, a king on b3, a pawn on c4, and a queen on b7. Okay, yeah, so what, what do we want to do there? I feel like queen c3 chuck. Yeah, queen c3. Yeah. And then king b1. Yeah, try to see the whole board. Queen in one chuck. And then we're going to have a billion chucks. Checks. I mean, no mate, and we might not even have... <laughs> we might run out of checks. Because black will, or black will take on b2. Yeah, but then we have queen e5 check. Actually, no. The rook already moved. So you're trying to pick up this rook, right? Yeah. On h8. So the rook is hanging yeah. on h8. That's what you're saying. Yeah. If the rook was on h8. What do you mean if? I thought black is taking on h8. Wait, 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 wait. What? You play bishop takes h8, rook takes h8, right? Yeah, and then we want queen c... So first we want queen c5, king b3. Bishop takes h8, rook takes h8. Queen a3, chuck, king c2. Oh wait, don't we have a fool? So king oh, c2? Mm -hmm. King c2, and don't we take the rook? And then we can take the rook with queen c3. Oh. Right? Okay, we were just thinking way too deep. <laughs> yeah, queen c3, you take the rook. Yeah, you're looking for more, more checks. Honestly, the line doesn't even end because there's queen c7 check. For black and then i go g3 and then g3 or king h1 or actually so the checks run out for black yeah so then then we're good oh All my right. god let's go here okay but i think the move order is really important though and we're taking here yeah take nice we got it I don't know why that was it, but <laughs> yes. <laughs> that on its okay. So, so here's what I'm going to say. Here you can let's solve this one. Let's take two seconds to solve this one just to get a clean. Yeah, clean, uh, I'm going to also think Charlie. Um. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm going to think Charlie. Um. Okay, I'm going to think all my training, um, training partners. So, Charlie, um. Andres Adams, and I think that's about it. Nice. Wow, I can't believe you thanked people. <laughs> Amazing. Nice. So you broke your record. You got your 43. Wow, that last pull of 2271. Um, oh, and we also, I think, can get Queen G3 check. Yeah, this one just looks like Queen G3 is going to be. I guess King D2, maybe it's going to be a little, a little fuzzy. Um, but uh man great work great work just latte um now you have this record now the scrubs have been challenged you know you're at 43. Yeah. So we're you're at 44 40. actually after queen g3 and queen f2 oh uh, well well maybe we can continue this um another time actually i'll just keep it open <laughs> yeah we make sure to do it um less than a week within a week yeah, we'll see if the scrubs can can set a new record, and then and then we'll get another chance, maybe yeah. to to take them down. Yep. <laughs> well, that sounds great. Yes. Well, look, you you absolutely crushed it. Uh, chat really enjoyed it. So thanks for coming on.
and solving a bunch of puzzles. You did absolutely fantastic. And I hope you keep working every day. Okay. Thank you, Kostia. Yeah, absolutely, buddy. All right, guys, we're going to be signing off. Catch you all soon. Bye.